So right now I have the uh, Bluetooth Elm 327 adapter from Brainy Deals out of Brooklyn, New York plugged into the 97 Ford Taurus and I have Torque loaded here. And what you see here is a few status icons for those of you familiar with Torque or not familiar with Torque, I'll explain what they are. The first blinking one is your GPS. Uh, basically the GPS is turned off on the uh, unit and that's just a little reminder there to let you know that. The next icon that looks like a little PDA or a smartphone uh, is just saying that Torque is initialized. This little icon here a solid blue little module looking box of some kind that just represents that you are paired and connected currently to the Bluetooth adapter and that you've successfully paired with it using the pairing code 1234 then your last icon is a little icon of a little car and this icon right here only goes solid once the connector is established to pair and once it's established that pair and the ECU actually starts flowing data from the car's ECU over Bluetooth to the Android, that's when this goes solid. So this, once you've got solid, solid, and solid, you've got a good lock to the car and you've got a stream of data coming. So right now I'm currently connected to the car. The car is not running, but I'll just give you an idea here. Um, there's your uh, throttle position, uh, your RPM, speed, coolant temperature, boost levels, and um, what I'm going to do now is just start the car basically just to kind of show you what it looks like when the connector is working properly. Most of you who use this already knows what it looks like, but for those of you not that haven't used it, I'm going to show you. Okay, so with the car started, we see the battery voltage, the coolant temperature, the intake air temperature, transmission fluid temperature, the torque converter slip, which is given an RPM and the timing advance of the engine. So, that's a good working adapter. Now we're going to back out of everything and I'm going to show you how to repair and we're going to install one of the non-working adapters and show you what happens. So I just unplugged the adapter that came from Brainy Deals out of New York, which works. Perfect. And now we're going to plug in one of these other ones. And uh, like I said, like I told you earlier, uh, one of the things you want to look for is this little tongue right here. This little separate tongue compared to that one. This is the one that works. These are the ones that don't work. We're going to plug this into the car. Okay, my battery just crapped out on the camcorder right as I was changing from the working adapters to the non-working adapters, and I was showing the difference in that tongue once again. So uh, now we've got uh, one of the adapters plugged into the car, uh, one of the eight that I'd bought that came from Patazone out of Sunnyvale, California. Uh, now the first thing you got to do anytime you're uh, trying different adapters is you have to reestablish the pair. Um, uh, uh, the, the, the pair between the Android device and the adapter itself. So let me show you how we do this here. We're going to go into settings, wireless and networks, and first thing we're going to do is turn turn on the Bluetooth. We'll wait for the green checkbox to come up over here to indicate that it has successfully turned on. Okay, now we're on. Now we're going to go into Bluetooth settings. And the first thing we need to do is we need to unpair the OBD2 adapter right there because we uh, we were just using the one that works and we have to uh, get that out of the system so it's not trying to communicate with that one. So there we're done with that. We, we unpaired with it. Now we're going to do a scan for devices and there it tells you it's scanning. Once it's done scanning, then we're going to pair again with OBD2 adapter. Right there it is. Click to pair with it. Now it's asking for the pairing code which is one, two, three, four. Done. Okay. Now we simply get out of there and we run torque. Now here we got 
the smartphone's initialized. The Bluetooth transmission is trying to initialize. It's blinking. Still blinking. Uh, actually, I, I made a mistake. There's one extra step here that uh, that you cannot forget, and I actually forgot it. So, a uh, perfect example of how easy it is. You also, after changing the Bluetooth adapter and repairing with a different Bluetooth adapter, even though the names are the same, the hardware MAC addresses are different. So that creates a little bit of confusion because you would think that once you pair with something based on a name, it should be able to pair with something else based on the same name, but the hardware MAC addresses are different. So we have to reinitiate. We have to go into settings for torque and go into the OBD2 adapter settings. And then we have to choose the Bluetooth device. And as you can see, it, OBD2 is not selected, so we have to select that to tell it to use that. And then simply uh, back back out to the main screen again, at which point, here we go, we're going through an initialization process, trying to initialize the Bluetooth. And this will take a few seconds. Maybe even more than a few seconds, it appears. Let me make sure I got the ignition turned on. I thought I did. Yes, the ignition's turned on and the key is on in the car. Okay, I came back now and actually I see this one takes longer to initialize the Bluetooth uh, on this particular adapter that doesn't work versus the one it does. The one it does work, it acquires that initialization a lot quicker. So the Bluetooth is initialized. It's actually talking to the Bluetooth adapter plugged into the car, which looks good at this point. But the problem is the car icon never goes solid, so no ECU data ever flows over the Bluetooth connection to the phone. It's trying. It's sitting here looking for it and waiting for it, and it's expecting it, but it just does not happen. And um, all eight of them did the same thing, so not good. Not good at all. Now, just to show you um, real quick, like, I tell you what, I'll go ahead and back out of this, and I'll plug the good one back in and show you exactly how quickly uh, the whole process should go. So we're going to swap adapters in the car back to our adapter that came from Brainy Deals out of New York which was the first adapter I bought that works perfect okay it's now plugged into the car so we're gonna go back to our phone we're gonna go um, into settings wireless networks turn the Bluetooth on I just realized looking at my screen here I got a horrible glare don't I on the screen, sorry guys, I didn't realize it was it was that bad. So Bluetooth settings, and we're going to go down to our currently paired devices, and we need to remove and unpair that adapter, and we need to scan for devices so it can find the new one that's plugged in. Scanning is done. Now we're going to pair our pairing code. One, two, three, four. Done. Okay. Go back home. Launch torque. Go into settings of torque and go to your OBD2 adapter settings and choose your Bluetooth device and we pick OBD2 again. Click OK, back up, so smartphone initialized, Bluetooth transfer is attempting to initialize, it initialized as you can see considerably quicker than the non-working unit and now it's trying to actually initiate the ECU stream and it did, there we got a successful ECU lock meaning we're getting data from the ECU and what do you know it works connected the ECU okay uh, so all eight of those that came from Sunnyvale California from Patazone they just simply don't work with torque they just don't um, luckily I'm so glad that the first one I bought from brainy deals I'm glad it worked because had it not worked I would have been pulling my hair out thinking 
that I was doing something wrong or not setting something up right. Um, but luckily, my first unit that I received, it worked. And so I got a feel for, okay, this is, this is how the whole process goes. And I got all excited after buying that first one. And like I said earlier, you know, I bought eight of these things from Patizone um, to give to uh, a couple of friends. And uh, the rest of them are going to family members. And none of the eight work. And had I bought these eight before I bought my single one that did work, if I bought these eight and they all eight did the same thing, I would definitely assume that I was doing something wrong. And clearly I'm not. So this is just kind of a word of warning.